It's Spirit Airlines Day. <laughs> Are we ready for whatever Spirit Airlines has for us? I wanna do a quick overview before we leave for the airport, just so you know, if you're flying Spirit Airlines, there are a lot of differences that I was trying to research and understand. Suitcase, you can bring a regular size large suitcase, okay, just a standard one. However, it can only be 40 pounds. Otherwise, you'll be charged. So you need to make sure that it's under 40 pounds. This is 39 exactly because I can't pack light to save my life. And then you're only allowed one personal item and it has to be 18 by 14 by eight inches of small backpack. This I pretty much measured out is that personal item and it might even be too big and I'm very worried about that. You have to pay for your carry-on, which is different than most places. You usually get a free carry-on. You have to pay for your carry-on and I think it's pretty expensive. I'm not doing a purse, like you can't have a purse and a personal item, it has to be all in one. So I just have everything in this base bag and I have my wallet in the base bag and everything else. And then I packed my purses in my suitcase. Here's a couple things I just wanted to mention. I ordered this off Amazon. It's like this teeny little pillow. And I was like, well, I'll probably be stuck in the middle row because there's the other thing. You have to pay for your seat. So if you wanna get a bigger seat, you can get a bigger seat, but you have to pay about 70 bucks or something for it. I didn't wanna do that. I'm truly trying to make this the cheapest flight possible. This flight, cost me $130 from Columbus, Ohio to LAX, nonstop direct flight. It was the only direct flight in, out of all my airports. I have Dayton Airport, Cincinnati Airport, and Columbus Airport to choose from. It was the only one, and it was by far the cheapest by about $300 or $400 the cheapest. For me, it's worth it. I don't care if I have to sit in the bathroom or on the wing of the plane at this point. I did pay to check my bag. I paid $60 for that. So in total, so far what I have paid for this flight is $200, that's it. So I would say not bad for a four day trip and it's a round trip. I am pretty much ready to go. I am very concerned about the bag, but I will let you know what the process is like getting through. I've never done it before. So I'm going to the airport very extra early to make sure that it's all good. But I didn't pay for my seat. I just had them assign me a random seat. And I am getting weird things though. In my email, this is just another, I'm trying to like document everything. But first of all, I tried to get my boarding pass. They said that Spirit Airlines is experiencing issues. So they can't give me a boarding pass. I have to get it when I get to the airport. Okay, all good, whatever. But I've been getting a lot of emails leading up to the trip. And this one says, don't miss out on a comfier seat. You'll get a lot of emails saying bid now. This is putting in bids to get exit row, which is long, like bigger and extra leg room. You haven't flown Spirit before? No. Really? That's why I'm doing a review. It was very divided. Like people saying, don't ever do this. Some people are saying just fly it for like short term flights. I don't really, like I said, I don't sure care. You I've never flown it. And most people fly it. They're like, fly it for like an hour flight. I'm yeah, doing a flight. five, my flight, by the way, five hours five hours. It's not cheap, but in my opinion, to buy your seat. It's not like it's 15 bucks. It's like 40, 50, 60. So obviously they nickel and dime you to recoup that money because it's so cheap, but I'm just not falling for it. Let's head to the airport. Just got to the airport. So let's see how difficult the baggage situation is. This is the part that I'm really, really worried about, to be honest with you. gate I'm about two hours early but I just wanted to be sure I get anxious about that kind of stuff do you know what I mean so I do have an assigned seat I am put in the middle I'm 27 e it's all good I figured I would be put in the middle but at least I didn't have to pay so so far I'm here my flights on time my bag got through so I was exactly at 40 pounds so just make sure your bag if you fly spirit is 40 pounds or under because I asked her I go well what would it have been if it was over 40 pounds so between 41 pounds and 50 pounds. She said it was like 70 plus dollar charge. And then if it's over 50 pounds, it was like a hundred something extra dollars. So they really kill you on the prices, okay? So make sure your bag is underweight. If you check it, also there's 
places where you can check and make sure your personal item is actually the right size. So I checked mine and mine was perfect. I should have done that before I checked my actual bag though, just in case. She also was just telling me because I just went up to her and asked if, if my flight was on time and all that stuff. And she said, yes, the flight is full. She said it's overbooked by four seats. And she said that means four people don't have, get, have a seat for this flight. And I go, well, hopefully I'm not one of those people. And she's like, well, if it's based on check-in. So you really have to check in before your flight. I know some people don't. I think my mom is even one of those people that doesn't check in until she gets to the airport. I would be very careful with that. <laughs> I would check in the day before if you can and make sure you get your boarding pass printed out. I would not rely on the phone because my phone for whatever reason wasn't working. So anyway, I will say though, the customer service that I've had, every person I've talked to spirit wise has been great. They're in great spirits. So it's a really good customer service so far. So you would think that it wouldn't be because it's just so affordable, but Every person I've talked to has been smiling. Like that was probably the girl that I checked my bag went in with was probably the nicest airport employee I've ever talked to in my life. The next thing that we're waiting for is to see like what the seats are like. I'm excited, I'm ready to go to LA. <laughs> their priority boarding benefit. A, B, and C is located on your right. D and F is located on your left. Ladies and gentlemen, we are expecting a completely full flight today, meaning every seat on this aircraft will be filled. Okay, so one major difference about Spirit Flights is that you do have to pay for your snacks and your drinks. I will say, though, they have a big selection, and you also do get a full-size water bottle or a full-size soda. They do accept Apple Pay and credit card. I don't think that they accept cash, but there's also some snack boxes and stuff you could get. My recommendation would be to bring snacks to the airport so you can save money there. I love spirit. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Over the other side, even out that stretch, very good. Slap your neighbor in the side, perfect, and back up. All right, final stretch, reach down, touch the ground, stretch out your back. And while you're down there, if you drop any cans or napkins or trash, we can just go ahead and grab it. Guys, what is a pilot's favorite bagel? A plain bagel. I knew comedy wasn't my calling. Hammer me this, let me try another one. Why did the bad little airplane get sent to his room? Because, y'all, he had a bad altitude. Yeah, that's the one that usually the tomatoes start throwing. All right, one more and I'll leave you alone. If you guys get this, you're awesome. Who created the first airplane that could never fly? The Wrong Brothers. See what I did there? Well, I won't be quitting my daytime job. Thank you guys so much for laughing. Even if it was forced, you'd have no idea what it does for my confidence. <laughs> One of the reasons we love working here is Spears. We can have fun with you guys. And when you guys have fun back, it makes us want to come to work every day. So thank you so much for being such an awesome cabin. We do hope you have fun in the Los Angeles area. And we do hope to see you on another Spirit flight.
Okay, I'm here in California. We have a beachfront view. Don't know how that happened. That's another crazy deal, but I wanna finish this video and just give you my final Spirit Airlines thoughts. I don't know if it's too good to be true, but I just have to say my experience was a 10 out of 10. I mean, for the price, for the nonstop direct flight at a good time, it's just insane what happened. The staff was really friendly. I inserted a clip on there of, you know, the flight attendant, they, all of them were all very happy and like nice and stuff like that. So honestly, I liked it a lot. It's not any more or less legroom, I feel, than any other airline. I mean, I fly a lot on United and American and I wouldn't notice the seat difference personally. I feel like they're small on every single flight. So yeah, I got put in the middle, which I feel like is the true test. And it was just a really comfortable flight. There was no turbulence. There was no like, you know, where we're, issues were with landing or anything like that there was just no issues even the prices like to buy a drink or snacks or whatever it's not too bad it's like four bucks for water but you get a full-size water bottle so you know not that bad all i can say is that don't let anyone tell you that flying spirit is not worth it because it, it absolutely is if you can get a good price like i did i mean 130 to fly from Columbus to LA. And guess what? My flight got in 45 minutes early. I've never heard of that before. Never in my life heard of that before. So all I can say is stop being a snob and fly spirit. It's worth it 100%. So anyway, that's my experience. Hope it helped you decide your flight journey if you're taking a trip. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.